this for a few of these reads if you've been watching some of them you'll see i don't know what it is and it's been in the morning mainly um but i feel mad giddy like excited about something i don't know what though something coming anyway welcome to get into it with amina we had a nice read today i am be honest with y'all i don't really know what i'm doing um, not very sure. <sighs> well, let me channel real quick. Who is this message for? This came up last night, two pals only, and my dice. So, let me, let me think for a minute. Let's take in some ground and breath. See, I could ground with me. Taking these breaths through your mouth. Breathe in. Feel yourself grounding the mama earth, rooting from the bottom of your feet, base of your spine. Exhale. Feel yourself connecting the source energy above, coming down into your crown chakra. Taking another deep breath to your mouth. And feel mama earth's energy coming up through your body. And exhale and feel yourself relax, feel your tension, any stresses just going out of your body, down these cords, these roots into Mama Earth. Taking another deep breath. Feel yourself glowing up. Exhale and relax some more, release some more tension. Taking one more grounding breath. Relax your face muscles. Feel that positive light energy filling up your body. And exhale. Let out a sigh of relief even. <sighs> Everything is always working out for me. Say that as many times as it takes for you to believe it. Because my tribe, it is true. Everything is always working out for you. Okay. So what I'm getting here is I have two ancestors coming through. Two feminine ancestors. And this message is only going to be for specific people. Okay. Um, we have one energy type of uh, ancestor coming through and then we have another one now this could be a bunch of ancestors but that share common energy or that maybe those of you in the tribe share a common um message that you need all right so i'm being told to start with the dice because i usually forget them properly <laughs> these are my astrological dice so let's see what's the overall message for everyone who is drawn to this reading. Try not to make too much noise because I don't want to wake up any kids. <laughs> this is Mina in the morning for those of you who don't know. All right, so you got 11th house, which is Aquarius. 11 is also a master number, master manifestations. So we got Aquarius, you're going to be manifesting some blessings coming in and some support is coming to you from the higher realm. Let me stop shaking the table because I'm leaning on the table. You are going to um, be experiencing 
your soul tribe coming in. Wishes that you've had being fulfilled. I'm also getting with cancer coming through. Which brings some water into the situation. You're going to be focused a lot on home, family, parenting, um, your ancestry, your roots. Maybe you're going to travel back home to your roots. Maybe you're going to study something that has to do with culture. Um, maybe you're going to be doing more things with your home. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're working with children. Your children, if you have children. Or perhaps you're going to become a parent soon. Okay. Um, let's see what else you're manifesting. Sorry, I'm gonna make sure my hands is not ashy. Y'all know how to do. We also have Neptune coming through. This can mean some things I, I feel with Neptune. There's gonna be some transformation some changes coming something that you don't see is on the horizon okay interesting interesting start so take a moment look at both of the piles they're set up so you can choose either by the card the photo for those of you that um need to see a picture to form your attraction to a pal or you can choose by the object for those of you who need objects so for pal one we have warrior woman and this orange butterfly And for pile two, we have prophetic dreams. And this purple butterfly. Okay. Take your time, make your choice, pause the video if you have to. Let's get into it. What's good, pal number one? All right, so I want y'all to know some of these uh, oracle cards are new to me. A lot of them are very deep as well, so I might go to the book for a few of them just to get you a little bit more insight beyond just what I'm channeling. All right, so let's get you started. First off, first thing I got when you chose the orange butterfly is sacral chakra, sacral chakra. There is something important that you need to do when it comes to expressing yourself freely, um, being you, standing in your true authentic power, um, you'll soar. Set some intentions. This butterfly used to be on an intention board that I took apart because I was going through a transformation and I needed to renew my intention. But set an intention. Because it has served its purpose, I'll tell you. Um, it was on an intention board for transformation. So there's a need for you to um, change your approach maybe a little bit. Or go through a transformation and not have any fear. That's what I'm hearing. There's a need for you to allow yourself to go through some sort of creative or sexual... Uh, express expressive way of transforming your energy or yourself um, with no fear so send some orange energy and light to your orange to your orange oh my god to your sacred chakra and start to give yourself the freedom to express yourself creatively um, on all levels and have no fear of going through any of life's changes that you feel are necessary or important to your well-being. Don't worry about public opinion is what I'm hearing. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't want to see a little dust. 
Okay, so let's get started. We got Warrior Woman as your center card. And then also from the Earthcraft Craft Oracle deck, you have Spirit of the West, which is 33, a master number. And we have Accept Your Gifts. full layout and then I'll interpret the cards okay after that we have from the urban to road deck I'm just gonna get you your full message from this ancestor three of Pentacles worry works I'm sorry that said works Five of Pentacles reversed worry. I must have knew it was coming out, I guess. And two of Wands reverse dominion. Okay, so let me, before I put out the rest of the cards, let me read. Your first one. So right off, what I'm channeling is you have a strong fem female spirit coming through. Um, this card here talks of the ancestors that are coming through, as well as your energy. So you have a very strong divine feminine energy about you. It can intimidate people, but... People see that when you have your sights set on something, when you are focused on something, you go for it and you attain it. You have a very big heart. You give people many chances and many people have sent arrows in your direction and still you're filled with love. You are a warrior. Your third eye is activated as well. So you're very intuitive. Listen to your gut. The ancestors that are coming through protect you and they protect your heart and they try to assist you through lessons in love all right so the book says warrior woman was not born into greatness she worked hard practiced and constantly refined her skills to become the strong celebrated fighter she is now and she has the scars to prove it on the battlefield, warriors fight until the end because they fight for what they believe in. Their hearts burning bright with conviction. Hatred and anger burn hot too, and it's easy to mistake them for passion, but they are not sustainable fuel, either burning out fast or consuming the fighter entirely. The pure light of your heart, however, is an eternal flame when fueled by truth and justice. As long as your goal resides in the heart, you too are on the path to glory. You too are a warrior woman. If you are feeling discouraged or doubtful, know that you already have all the courage, motivation, willpower, and creativity you need. But you must practice owning your power and fighting for your passions. Don't give up on your dreams just yet. You are being guided to dig in deeper and channel your focus, energy, and resources into fighting for your dreams. You will win in the end, but do not expect overnight success. Reaching your goal will take time and dedication, but the rewards will be well worth the effort. So you have warrior spirits helping you reach your goals and giving you added strength. All right. <clears throat> the spirit of the West initiates you to the energy of war, the element of water and the energy of sensitivity and nurturing feeling, rest and self-care. It comes to you during times of stress, overwhelm, burnout, and a deep need to repair and rejuvenate. So my dear pal number one, there is a deep need for you to get some rest. You need to take a break, okay? You're very strong, I know, but there's a need for you to slow down and nourish your spirit. This card is saying you need to regather your strength and have compassion for yourself and all that you do. You, 
You are owed this time to slip into the realm of your spirit for inner guidance and support. The rest of the world can wait until you have enough fuel to be its warrior again. Wow. So maybe you're giving too much of yourself to others and it's time for you to retreat, warrior. You can't fight everyone's battles. You have your own things that you, you know, are dealing with. Wow, this is amazing. I'm going to break this down for you in a minute, numerology-wise. You received the Accept Your Gifts card when you are doubting yourself and your natural talents. So there must be something that you're really good at or something that you really want to do or a gift that, you, that comes naturally to you. Just think of something that you can't imagine life without it, without doing it, okay? When you doubt your gifts, you drain your power, so... You have to believe in your ability to know what feels right in your soul. Accept your gifts. They will bring light to the path of confidence, joy, and fulfillment. Okay, so you have some gifts that you are not using. And there's a need for you to recharge so that you can get ready to put these gifts out into the world. Yeah, you must be some sort of messenger or healer, my pal number one. Somebody who fights for a humanity in some way or teaches or leads in your tarot oh what i wanted to show you guys was you got the three of pentacles right under 33 spirit of the west so that's 333 you might want to look that up as an angel number then you have warrior woman which is 41 four plus one is five a, tr a number of transformation then you have five of pentacles right under it five and five another number that may be important for you and then lastly, you have two accept your gifts and then two of wands. Two and two. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. Three, 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 five, five, and two, two. So those numbers might be significant um, in some way. It could be days, could be hours, could be months or years. All right. With the Three of Pentacles, which is um, usually joining up with people, partnering with people. Um, so that maybe you could get some of the workload off of you. Maybe uh, working with others, getting some assistance in some way. Um, this is advice I feel that's coming through. Also, you need to get out of your head and... Um, Stop worrying that what you what you're doing or what you're putting your energy into isn't gonna come to fruition because it's going to affect your health. Okay. And then with the two of wands reversed, it's like you're you're not taking action going towards some kind of gift or something you're supposed to be doing. It's like you're waiting for some extra sign that's going to say, okay, now you are ready. And Spirit is saying, now you are ready. Okay? All right. So that's the first half of your reading, Power One. In fact, I'm going to leave Warrior Woman here. Okay. So, in the Star Code Astro Oracle deck, we have square, semi square, I can't never say this word, quincux, tension. It's reversed though. We have Vesta, the hearth. And we have introspection, the 12th house, reversed. From my new deck. Oh shoot, where's it at? Zodiac Moon reading cards. You have... Re oh, Eclipse and Libra, rebalance. Reevaluate, 
relationships, justice, and fair play. And Sun in Taurus, Practicalities, Boost Self-Worth and Finances. Okay. You might really want to look into the number two. We got 31, 32, and two again. And five and 54 with five in the middle. All right. So what other messages do we have for pound number one from this ancestor? There's something that was causing some friction um, around you that is going to find a balance it's going to receive some kind of justice it might have been a relationship or something maybe someone you had a beef with or an argument with or an issue with um i see that balancing itself out so spirit is coming through to say put that out your mind don't worry about that situation that they are working behind the scenes to bring that into balance bring some justice to it um The 12th house reversed. There is really a need for you to rest and re retreat for a minute. There's also a need for you to look within. You're refusing to forgive or let something go or do the healing completely on something. Wow, the sun just went behind a cloud when I said that. All right. Well, there's a need for you to really look within and, and really see release some things there's still some things you need to release um spirit is helping you with that your finances are going to get a boost that's going to boost your feeling of self-worth and once that happens you will feel a shift i feel emotionally i think that is like the final key in your healing process some form of prosperity and we have 32 right under 41, which both are 5 and 5. There's something about you, warrior woman. You're very nurturing. You're very attractive. Um, people feel drawn to you. You feel like home. You're very down to earth, very authentic. That's why sacral chakra came up. There's a need for you to really stay in that space of authenticity, of being genuine, of being your true self. Because a lot of people see themselves in you and they come to you for comfort and for a feeling of belonging. You ignite some kind of passion in them. You inspire people um, in some sort of way. It doesn't even have to be through your work. It could be just through friendship. All right. From another one of my new decks, the Kabbalah, the Tree of Life Oracle. I've been studying the Kabbalah now. I'm studying so many things, y'all. Oh my God, I need to focus on one thing at a time. All right, we have <clears throat> the actor. And it came through reversed, but I'm going to read it just as it is. I don't know if the Kabbalah deck takes reversals. And then we have the seed. So with the actor, you, you're in the public eye. You're in, people are looking at you. And um, for whatever reason, maybe you're feeling like you can't be 100% your true self. But Spirit is coming through to say it's time. You're going to really feel pushed to reveal, to uh, remove your mask, um, to truly be yourself. With the seed here, there's something being born. There's something new uh, on the horizon that you are meant to create. Something from your experiences that you need to share. And you sense this. You feel this. But... For whatever reason, you feel you don't feel 100% sure that maybe the world is ready for you or family members or people that you feel will have an opinion. So 
uh, pile number one, getting your warrior woman energy. Whether you are, no matter what gender you are, call on that divine feminine energy, get into your heart center. Okay. And come from your heart at all times and you'll never fail at being real. And you'll come with love. And the sun just came out when I said that. Yay. Okay. And last but not least, from the light worker oracle, because you are light workers if you're in my tribe. Divine grace, the law of efficiency. Wow, dark night of the soul. Okay. So I'm going to tell you right off jump, my pal number ones. Uh, with Dark Knight of the Soul, this means you've been going through a rough period right now and you're coming out of it where maybe you've been feeling like you've had to look at your past. Um, a lot of past things have been surfacing. A lot of past stuff you thought you were over or have worked through. Um, you're starting to see how it affects you in the now. Um, so Spirit is helping you work through it. So don't feel in despair because on the other end you have You're being shown that you are a child of source, that you have some of the same gifts as source energy, and you have the ability to come out of this dark night of the soul totally lit, <laughs> totally connected to source, knowing you are worthy, knowing you are enough. And that's for the, what I got for you, my pal number ones. I really hope this resonated. I hope this helped somebody. If this didn't, listen to pile number two. Maybe that's where your message is, and that's why you were drawn here today. In the meantime, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it. I truly appreciate it, and trust and believe I send blessings out to everyone who does it. Love you guys. Peace. Blessings. And all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Later. What up, pal number twos? All right. So if you chose the purple butterfly, you're doing some spiritual growth at this time. You're on a spiritual journey, my pal twos. You um, are going to find that you need to meditate a lot and that you are um, really, really, really being connected to spirit. With prophetic dreams, your dreams are very important right now. Make sure you keep a dream journal. You're being sent signs, messages, subliminal messages, synchron synchronicities, everything through your dreams. Even wake dreams, I'm hearing, like daydreams as well. Um, yeah, the universe really, really, really um, works with you when you're sleeping. Also, a healing as well. Sleep is really important for you. All right. And this ancestor that's coming through really, really likes to send you signs and messages through your dreams. Okay. A lot of purple. Very connected to source energy. All right. Let's see what else we got from this deck. Wow. Abundance. Always love seeing this card. And plant seeds. So I feel like both piles, y'all could listen to both piles. Both piles have something on the horizon, something that's on the brink that um, really needs to be tapped into. You, you may be getting signs of what you need to be doing in your dreams, but whatever it is, it's something that's going to bring in an abundance. And that could be an abundance of love, an abundance of material wealth, an abundance of whatever the hell it is you want an abundance of. Um, it's time for you to start to plant the seeds or grow. Um, start to, to, what I'm getting is don't expose everything yet. All right, write things down, record things if you have to. Um, <clears throat> but 
don't reveal anything till it's ready to grow, till it is ready to be seen, okay? Don't show the tree before the roots have fully been, you know, grounded, okay? All right, so let's look at your tarot. Whoa, the lovers. <laughs> Right under abundance. So I see what you're getting. An abundance of love coming in. Um, maybe this person is prosperous as well. <laughs> or together y'all going to be prosperous. So maybe you are. We got art reverse, which is temperance. And we have Six of Swords, Science, reversed. Okay. <sighs> Give me a minute. Alright, this time it's time for you to start something new. There's a love energy trying to come in, but you have to make a choice. You have a lot of abundance on the way. Big blessings coming. What's blocking it is that there's an imbalance. You're not getting enough rest, enough sleep. You're not listening to the messages that you're getting until after shit hits the fan. Then you're like, oh, I drank that or I imagined that or I, I visualized that. Um <clears throat> It's time to plant new seeds, okay? And there's something that you're clinging to here that you need to move on from. You should have learned the lesson from it by now and be moving on to better shores. You're being guided to, but for some reason you're clinging to something. So I'm getting there is a need coming up that this guide is trying to show you through your dreams and through visions of what you need to do. Giving you gut feelings, trying to heal you from something that will allow this abundance and this new start to come in. This love that is on the horizon. Things need to get balanced. You need to really let go of something. And Spirit's trying to help you with that. Sun just came out when I said that. All right, let's look at the Astro cards. We have Pallas Athena, I think. Fifth house, passion. A lot of warrior, strong female energies coming through. Sheesh. And we have Descendant Invitation. All right, wow, pile number two. So there's something creative you're supposed to be doing um, that's gonna bring a transformation to those that experience it. With the fifth house being the house of pleasure, um, recreation, leisure, games, creativity, children, just maybe something creative you're supposed to be doing with children or some kind of work you're supposed to do that is going to help kids. Um, or just bring you some kind of pleasure, some energy that makes you feel young again. Uh, you're being invited. It's almost like you're going through an initiation right now. Maybe you're fighting it. You're ignoring your dreams. You're ignoring visions. Or you're brushing some of them off. But it is time right now for you to uh, begin to plan this creative mission. And follow your passion. Whatever it is you're passionate about. It doesn't even have to be artistic. There's a warrior energy here. You're very strategic. So you need to just plan and think and your abundance will come right in. It's not so much that you need to do. It's more that you need to plan and uh, organize and strategize and prioritize. And things will flow. And you're being helped with that. So the visions you're getting and the dreams and the signs and everything that are coming to you, 
Really pay attention to them because they're guiding you towards your abundance, okay? Or showing you what could be blocking it, okay? Sun and Aries, new beginnings. What did I say with the seed planting? New start, new beginnings. And this is my sun sign. And we have moon and Scorpio transformation. So with Aries, it says a leap of faith. And with Scorpio, it says a change in your emotional life. Whew. Y'all some strong energies. All right. Um, it's time for you to start. Whatever it is you, you're passionate about, whatever it is you've been thinking about doing, it's time for you to get to it. Um, take a leap of faith. The universe is here. Got your back. They're also sending people. You see the other dolphins that can help you with your goals. Um, it's going to bring a great transformation on the planet. It's going to change people emotionally. It's going to change you emotionally. You have a sun and a moon. You're going to go from, it's going to go from night to day. Complete transformation. And a butterfly showed up. A yellow one, I'd say. Solar plexus chakra. So just have the confidence. Alrighty. From the Kabbalah deck, we have three. The coward. This deck, uh, this pile also got a lot of threes, I meant to mention, as well as ones. A lot of new beginnings and partnerships. Man of Blood, 11. That's the manifestation. So you're really being asked to recognize how you feel. There's strength in being the coward. The coward knows when to retreat and when to jump. The coward chooses their battles wisely. So I'm feeling with the coward, you're being shown that it's okay to have some fear. Because maybe what you're planting just isn't ready yet. But it's really time for you now to start the planning. With Man of Blood, you're being very, very much supported and guided in what you're doing. So there's no need really to have fear. Um, it's time for you to make a choice. I'm seeing judgment. It's time for you to make a choice about something. Let go of something so you can move towards something. Let go of the fear of the new experience that is trying to come into your life. Okay. Lightworker Oracle. Trust in the plan. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you, Source, for backing me up. I, I can't even say it any more blunter. Bluntly. Trust in the plan. Things are working themselves out. In your favor. And first ray of power. So it's time for you to link with your higher self. You're starting to realize the gifts you have, the power you have to make what you want manifest. And that's another number one. Remember I said one, one, one. Um, really trust in the plan. You're being guided. You're being gifted. You're being protected. Um, you're going up spiritually growing you're becoming more connected to the universe you just need to make a choice as to what you want to do and um don't be afraid of what's coming you deserve it you're ready for it that's what i got for you my pound number twos i hope this resonated in some way shape or form or helped you if not pass it on to someone else by clicking share and please subscribe please blessings if you also like Anyway, and love you guys. That's a mood you're about the way. You can do this and, and do deep breathing. Love you guys. Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my dope ass tribe. Later.